It's important to know where we are coming from as a country. The reason was there was a blanket prohibition against registering new church congregations as way back as 1983 because I had not even gone to parliament. That's when I met this tall, elegant bishop. He was not a bishop then. A bishop later to become a bishop at the Kitonga. Who sent me a beautiful Bible. I should have come with it. And the instructions that he wrote on that large print Bible. Nataka munisikilize wa Kenya wenzangu. Yaani kulikuwa sio rais kuandikisha kanisha Kenya. Nyakatizo. Mnajua hata wakati huu it is even more difficult. Ni kweli si kweli? And yet chini ya katiba ya 2010 uhuru wa kuabudu is a constitutional right. Ni haki yako ya kikatiba. Na kwa hivyo mimi nashangaa afisi ya registrar general afisi ya attorney general wakili mkuu wa serikali kama hawajasoma bado katiba katiba inasema hata kama unataka kuabudu Mungu ukienda juu chini it is your constitutional right kwa hivyo najiuliza ni kwa nini bado makanisa wanakatazwa kusajiliwa i'm now warning from this not warning sending a very strong message from this congregation because nimeona wengine wana wana attack makanisa wanasema eh hey, we mas kupitia na nimeona hiyo kwa mfano pastor john and the powerful message amazing story you spoke my heart by the way because this morning i i flew by helicopter because to cover this country you try to do several things now my cousin no one of my nephews akanitumia a text before i left yata mama akaniambia how dare you yani ulienda kwa mazishi ya mzee ambaye nilikuwa kwake jana na kaenda kwa mazishi mengine huko upande wa mwingi kwa helicopter and your own cousin ulituma only two mchango na hukuja kwa mazishi hiyo ile niuma now you remember the story of the rich man i mean the story of the father the prodigal son baba yake alipokuja he looked for the fattened calf sasa huyu kijana nikamwandikia message nikamwambia you know so i'm so sorry when when uh, my cousin who is your dad passed on it was in september last year at the height of corona na tukua tungeruhusiwa kila mtu isije tukaambukizana now the positivity rate is down ndio nika nika attend those two funerals yesterday yeah, and you can see now how people look at themselves um, the last message i want to make and i think i made a powerful one because me ona conversation kwa media watu wakisema watu wakiandika makanisa mengi ni kufanya biashara na mambo kama hayo let the name of lord our lord and savior jesus christ be preached in season out of season whoever calls on the name of the lord <laughs> Indeed whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. How yours will you attract them? So mimi na mtuombe kwa sababu this is important. I cannot after so many years I had not even gone to parliament because I went to parliament in 85. And then bado kulikuwa hivi hivi redeemed gospel ink. <laughs> now I'm so happy this congregation has grown and has touched the lives of many many Kenyans, not even Kenyans in the region and so even bishop kefa's church was registered under <laughs> redeemed gospel church i've been watching and the common thing between this church and victor ghetto is also registered crisco as another limited by guarantee what are we afraid of if the constitution which is the supreme law of the land says there's freedom of worship why deny kenyans the freedom under whatever pretext 
Um, sorry, I may know my voice on that one. Because I wanted to make that point. If I do not make another point, that is a point. The other point, Mama, tuliongea kidogo tukiingia hapa. And I'm happy that a bishop is doing well. Um, you know, I was here when this church gave him a big present, trying to retire him. How do you retire a man like Bishop Kitonga? <laughs> How do you? Because he's yet to touch the hearts of many people. You have to re-roof this church. That is what Mama has told us. Congregation, are you aware? Mukonakazi ya kuweze katena, is it pa kwa kikswahili? Pa ya jengo hili. I want to say, Mama and the congregation, we will walk this journey with you. We will walk this journey with you. Because apart from anything else, if you know the story of, of, of Bishop Kitonga and the outreach to the Madare community, Madare slums, as they were called, Navile ame, ame fikia with a message of hope like we have heard today, so many young people whose lives have been transformed and change, then you know that God had a special mission for this congregation. So we work with you, and uh, um, we've asked Mwashmoa Joshua Mwalio to talk to his colleagues. Uh, we, we will be coming uh, with our message. That's what we said. So that this e program, Yakuri Roof, this church, we want to be part of it. May God bless you and keep you. Thank you. <laughs>